I've always wanted to help people. To pay it forward, to lead others to make a change. And together we can uh, make a positive contribution. The power of the invisible makes the visible powerful. Hidden behind the machines, wealth and structures are confidence, conviction, decision, passion. At the foundation of any urban innovation, be it the economy, law or technology and infrastructure, is the delicate science of cultural and social integration. These are the cords that bind a society. The relationships between people. The social sciences. The Singapore University of Social Sciences provides vital applied training. Whether it's humanities, management or languages, law or science and technology, to create in students the instincts to help understand, manage, and solve the issues that affect society. We share knowledge because more minds find more solutions. We open minds and create passion to do meaningful work. And we constantly refresh, innovate, and invigorate. Because as the world turns and changes, we should too. We look at human society and at what it needs. We empower people to keep learning, to discover their potential, to change, and to shape the world. It's really important to have lifelong learning. I will continue to expand myself because when I improve myself, it inspires others around me. Anyone can make a change as long as we're willing to take a step. Change has to start from yourself. As soon as you improve yourself, change will happen. Comment on your graduation! Well done on your graduation! Tanya semua! Warmest wishes on your graduation! Woo! Congratulations to everybody! Well done students! Congratulations graduating class! Congratulations and wish you success ahead! Yay! Good job everyone! Happy graduation! Well done on your success! Wish you a happy convocation! All your hard work has paid off! Happy graduation! Hello graduates, all of the hard work you have put in has paid off. All the best for the future endeavors and go out there and make a difference. Happy, Happy graduation! graduation. Ha! <laughs> ah, yeah, finally can go home. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation for the class of 2022. Please be seated as the convocation will begin shortly. As the convocation is a formal occasion, may we request for all graduates and guests to remain seated throughout the ceremony and for all mobile devices to be switched to the silent mode. Thank you. Congratulations on achieving this major milestone. You have finished what you started and you are now a graduate of SUSS. They say that every end has a new beginning. So where do you go from here? In the next chapter of your lives, do apply what you have learned over the past few years and believe in yourself. The future will pose many challenges, but you will also come across new and promising opportunities. Allow me to share three key points to take note. First, embrace lifelong learning so that you will be relevant and ready for the changes in the coming decades. Second, keep fit and stay healthy because this will enable you to enjoy life to the fullest. And third, remember to help others with your talents, gifts and time because that's what will keep you happy. On behalf of the School of Business, we are all very proud of you and I wish you the very best for your future. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem.
I declare this convocation open for the presentation of graduates for the degrees in business. Let me welcome all of you to SUSS Convocation 2022. This year, we graduate 2,854 students, among whom 300 have completed our graduate and executive programs. Congratulations to all our graduates. We are very proud of you. It is not just that you have completed a rigorous education in your discipline. It is also that many of you have done it despite your own demanding circumstances. Many had, in fact, to juggle needs of family, work and personal challenges amidst studies. And also doing it in the midst of the pandemic. We salute your perseverance and resilience. What now, graduates? You will either be joining the workforce or continuing with your working life. Armed with your degree, you will find more doors open and more opportunities available. Take them on with the same adaptability, determination and spirit as you had displayed in SUSS. The pandemic brought unsettling experiences such as work from home, home-based learning, interacting with others online rather than face-to-face -face, and of course, the dreaded lockdowns. These seem quite distant and bearable now, but there are new disturbing developments. We have got war, geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, inflation, extreme weather events. And they are all coming together in a perfect storm. Against such a backdrop, you, the class of 2022, will have to prepare yourself mentally and physically to deal with these and new challenges that come your way in your next phase of life. But I'm confident that the knowledge and skills you have acquired in SUSS will enable you to deal with problems you will face. Our education helps you develop key work competencies and soft skills. An international outlook, entrepreneurship and a learning spirit to cope. No, to prosper. But I hope we have also imparted to you a community spirit. You see, your education it's not for you alone. Yes, it is for your career advancement, your personal growth, your achievements. But your education is also for your employers who look to you for their growth and success. And your education is for your community, our society. If all of us think that way, we can uplift others and improve our society so much more. I hope you will grow a big heart for others, particularly the less privileged. Let me suggest three C's as you enter your next life stage. The first C stands for courage. The times ahead are uncertain. You need to have the courage to embrace change, no matter how unsettling it can be. The second C is Curiosity. Don't allow your curiosity diminish with time. Don't become entrenched in your comfort zones and disregard new trends, developments and opportunities. Don't just dismiss that new popular app or new fad as something that concerns only the next generation. You may even find something useful for yourself. The third C is for compassion. Do your best for others and your loved ones, but grow your compassion for people around you. Look for ways to lend a helping hand to those who need it. You will learn much about yourself in the process and also deepen your gratitude for what you have. Your learning journey doesn't stop with graduation. It shouldn't. Lifelong learning is now a fact of life, not just a slogan, whether you like it or not. I hope to see some, if not all of you, back at SUSS soon and often. 
as participants of the university's broad range of continuing education and training courses. Finally, let us recognize those in your lives who have contributed to your success, especially your family and supporters. They deserve your best as you embark on your next big step in your life. Congratulations again, and I wish you success in your future endeavours. Chancellor, Mr. Stephen Lee, Professor Chong Hee Kiat, President, SUSS, Ms. Agnes Kwang, Registrar, SUSS, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm really pleased to congratulate all of you, the graduating class of 2022. This convocation celebrates the culmination of your achievements and honours your hard work as a student at SUSS. It marks the end of a journey which all of you have embarked on several years ago, but it is also a new beginning. And that is why this ceremony is sometimes referred to as a commencement, which signifies the start of a new and exciting chapter for each of you. If you look around, you can basically divide this audience into two groups, graduates and guests. And so my speech this morning will have two parts. The first part is for you, the graduates, and the second part is meant for your guests who are here today. For you, the graduates, my message to you is to find your North Star and follow that. The North Star metaphor is based on an actual star in the sky that sailors used in the old days to help them navigate the oceans. By looking for the North Star, they could reorientate themselves and get their ship back on course so that they could reach their intended destination. My wish for you is that in the coming years, you will discover your North Star your true calling in life, and what you are really passionate about. Discovering your North Star and following it will enable you to live with a purpose, and it gives you a reference point to keep you moving in the right direction, for example, in your careers. As a graduate, your journey will have many challenges. Your job may get boring or difficult, and when you're living with a purpose, it is much easier to stay on track and weather the storms that come your way. For the late Queen Elizabeth, her North Star was probably her lifelong devotion to duty and service, and she did that to the very end. For the rest of us, it could be a strong desire to start a business and be an entrepreneur or furthering your studies and get a PhD, or simply doing good and giving back to society, or just discovering what makes you exceptional and focusing on that. Whichever you decide, don't get distracted or sidetracked along the way and stay focused on your goals. Now for all of you seated beside and behind the graduates, yes, I'm addressing all of you on that side and the back of the hall, parents, grandparents, wives, husbands, uncles, aunties, brothers, sisters, friends, and children who are all here today. I'm sure you are very happy and proud to witness this very important day in the life of your loved ones. This is your day too, and you deserve to be here. As a parent myself, I can understand the sacrifices you've made all these years, from primary school to university. Their achievement is your achievement. My message to you 
is that I would like you to continue to be there for them as they start or progress with their careers. The road ahead will have many new challenges and obstacles, and they will need your support and encouragement to keep moving towards achieving their career goals and their North Star. As long as they continue with the habit of learning, they will be able to adapt and stay relevant in this future of work. As you can see, it's not over yet, and lifelong learning is here to stay. We seek your understanding when they need to take further courses or qualifications to upgrade themselves in the years ahead. Allow me to add here that at SUSS, if you want to go on to do graduate studies, we have over 60 graduate programs to choose from. And to start you off, we are offering all our graduates from the class of 2022 up to 10 CUs of free courses selected from our undergraduate and graduate programs to be taken within three years after your graduation. So please check it out on our website under the Alumni Continuing Education or A Scheme. Right, so this is like a, a pre-1010 sale. Huh? In summary, class of 2022, find your North Star, whatever you wish that to be, and follow that. It will help you to stay focused as you navigate through this ever-changing world. And listen to your loved ones who are here today because they are special to you. They have supported and encouraged you all this while, and they will be there for you when you achieve even more success in the years ahead. Once again, congratulations. We are all very proud of what you have achieved. Take care of yourselves. Keep fit. Stay in good health. And above all, I wish you happiness all the days of your life. Thank you. The School of Business is proud to present a short video of one of our graduates. Mr. So Wei Ming Darrell, who, gradu who graduated with a Bachelor of Science Marketing on his learning journey. To me, the greater good is about waking up to a better world. That is the greater good. Hi, I'm Daryl. Uh, I'm a management trainee uh, in ST Logistics. I graduated from SUSS with a Bachelor of uh, Sciences in Marketing with a minor in International Trade Management. Growing up, uh, I'm someone that loves to uh, solve puzzles and mysteries, thinking outside of the box. And marketing struck off to me as a subject that uh, taps on someone's creativity, to problem solve and ideate. SUSS being the only local university that offers a degree that specializes in marketing made it a no-brainer for me. We all have our own diverse backgrounds and stories. For me, during my time in SUSS, my, my family faced turmoils uh, with finances and we had some run-ins with mental health concerns at home. All this while uh, trying to perform academically, while pursuing development opportunities, as well as managing personal matters outside and at home. Amidst all the challenges, uh, SUSS has inculcated a spirit of independence and resilience. Uh, with that, it motivated me to do better. So I managed to uh, secure a Singapore Industry Scholarship during my time in SUSS, which has helped me open up doors and overcome a huge hurdle in my life. In four short years, I had the privilege of traveling to numerous countries like Indonesia, China, India, uh, under school programs like the experiential team building as well as youth expedition projects. I also had the opportunity to be involved and lead uh, international events like the InnoFest Unbound and organize national events like the Inter-University Forum. I had the opportunity to work and grow in a field that I'm passionate in and that is on mental health. The school 
was able to offer me a platform to work with like-minded peers and staff who co-start the SUSS Peer Supporters Group, which has helped to improve student well-being. And that is why, for me, this journey in SUSS has been nothing short of fulfilling. It's not just about getting the degree, but it's also about being able to pursue my passion in mental health, as well as to grasp the opportunities that I have to develop and better myself as a student, as a worker, as a son, and as a brother. So I believe that though we are only one person in this big world, but it takes one person to start the change that we want to see in this world. So with that, I want to be the positive light that can continue to impact the people around me. Go make your mark for the greater good. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science in Supply Chain Management has earlier been conferred. Chen Chi Yan Kelly. <laughs> Chua Xin Yi. Yurich Tia Ziyong. Jason Lim Bing Xiang. Lang Jun Cheng. Mark Rowway. <laughs> Muhammad Alfian bin Abdul Al Latif. <laughs> Ong Kai Ning. Roshdi Bin Rosili <laughs> Si Hong Da <laughs> Sean Tan Yung Kai <laughs> Suet Li Xiang Tay Shu Fang <laughs> T Ming Wei <laughs> Yan Yu Yong Jia Le, Gerald. Adrian Wang Jun Rong. <laughs> I 
Alice Yap Jawen. Chang Junlin, Elizabeth. Chong Jia Chen. Chong Xiao Wei. Ying Wei Ling. Gideon Go Wei Jie. Jamie Ng Kai Lin. Jess Lee Yu Ting. Jeremy Ng Xin Yuan. Joanna Tou Yi Ting. <laughs> Johanna Lam Si Ming. <laughs> Kyung Wei Bin. <laughs> Ko Lu Xuan. Lee Ha Yi Joseph. <laughs> Lim Rui Yi. <laughs> Manura Roy Vagis. <laughs> Ng Jie Le. No Hua Razak. No Ifa Liana Binte Mohammed Yunos. Nuro Nadia Binte Samsudin. O Wei Ling. Ching Sarah Ng Anshu Serene Ong Ng Hui Tan Shi Lin Tio Kevin. Tio Mo En Darren. To Xiao Yun. To Jia Fu. Vanessa Lee Pei Jun. <laughs> Vanessa Tan Yi Ping. <laughs> Valin Tan Xin Yi. <laughs> Yue Si Xian.
Ang Jiawei Joanne. Ang Yan Min. Angela Tiu Shu Hui. Chou Man Wai. Delis Li Shi Rei. Hosted Ben Xiong. Hana Lim Lina. Hao Hui Ting. John Tan Chu En. Ko Ke Hui. My Tali Shamin Kuma Melinda Chen Jie Yi Ng Li Min No Sabrina Binte Abdul Jajio. <laughs> Ong Rei Zong. <laughs> Rover Tan Ming Jie. <laughs> Sabrina Chua Wan Ting. Stephanie Lim Rui Ting. Tan Kai Lin. Tan Rui Chi, Rachel. Tan Yan Ning, Ajalin. Tou Mei Chi. <laughs> Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science, Logistics and Supply Chain Management has earlier been conferred. Ang Ping Hui. Angeline <laughs> Bhavani, daughter of Bala Chandran <laughs> Blake Toming Kai <laughs> Bryce Chia Kerchin. Chong Rong Jian Clifton Chua Ying Hao Ying Chiu Ming Ho Yuk In Jordan Chua Kai Jie.
Kanishwaran, son of Narayasami. Ko Ni Chang. Li Shi Li. Li Ting Bin. Muhammad Rafi bin Abdul Jamal. Nguyen Thay Thuy Nguyen. Tan Ka Hui. Tan Ling Ling Margaret. Tan Wei Tiang Nico Tay Wei Liang Zhu Hyumi Bin Ismail Ang Jun Xuan Angeline Tay Ching Fang. Azri Bin Anwa. Chan Chou Yong. Chong Choi Fun. Grace Mary, daughter of Joseph. <laughs> Hanisha Shaira Binte, Binte Hamza. <laughs> Ifa Binte Ahmed. J. Bataru Nisha. <laughs> Jerry Tan Kiang Chang. <laughs> Kakinuma Alisha. <laughs> Ko Fu Hao. Ko Chong Fang. Ko Yu Na. Le Hi Ying. Lim Kok Hing. Lo Yuan Lin. <laughs> Muhammad Lukman bin Muhammad Zukifli. <laughs> Musa Kazmin bin Muhammad Noor. Unwaiting Salin <laughs> Noor Azam bin Hamza <laughs> Ong Lip Kiat <laughs> O B Lian Korean
Peck Chun Han. So Jung Hong Irvin. Tan Wei Liang Vincent. Tan Ji Ren. Tiffany Kai Bing. Toh Kai Min. Wong Kai Ji. Yu Hui Bing. Zhang Yue. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science Logistics has earlier been conferred. Yudi O Wan Tian. Ko Cho Q Audrey. Sarah Ang B. Ting. Xiao Sun Tech. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science Business has earlier been conferred. Alex Tam Yong Sheng. <laughs> Alicia Tan Ting Xian. <laughs> Amira Binti Alwi. Ang Cheng Guan, <laughs> Ao Shu Min Zoe, <laughs> Ao Wen Sin Susanna, <laughs> Bhavani, daughter of Pandian. Brianna Chok Ming Zhu, <laughs> Kapel Jasmine Elizabeth, <laughs> Chan Wen Bin Kenneth, <laughs> Chen Lan Lan. Chen Xiaoling, <laughs> Cheng Kai Yun, <laughs> Chen
Chong Zi Hao. Chu Wan Yi Carolyn. Chu Wei Hao. Christina Chen Shu Yi. Chua Gyok Wei. Chua Siu Kim. Delston Yong Zeng Da. Daniel Chang Ding Lun. Eric Lo Hin Ki. Farin Yo Si Hui. Faiza Binti Jaffa Ali. Go I Chu. Go Cheng Sim Rachel. Halstead Kiri Ling. Harizal Sean Paul Nazari. Janatul Flatuas. Jason Lim Jun Long. Javrizal Zainal. K. A. Mikraj Begum. Camelia Binti Razak. Ko Tia Hui. Kutuddin Muhammad Feroz. Lai Yi Wen. Lao Mei Chi. Li Chien Wen Guanyu. Li Li Chun Yunis. Li Ming Chu. Li Ron En Claudius. Li Sun. Li Zheng Hong Xuan. Lim Jia Yi Jaslin. Lim Miao Ling. Lo Wei Zheng.
Lu Sun Ying. Marcus Ng Zhi Zhong. Melody Te Ru Xian. Muhammad Fidawas bin Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Yazid bin Yusuf. Niza Ahmad, son of Nurul Amin. Nuria binti Muhammad Aris. Nurul Amina binti Norimin. Ong Yen Tar. Pia Wei Liang. Peng Xiao Yun Shan. Peng Si Yong. Po Hui Boon Jacqueline. Po Sin Ying. Kwek Mui Ling Vivian. Kwek Yu Chin. Kwek Zhi Shun. Rohani Binti Asad. Samuel Ang Wai Kit. Score via Ningxi. Xia Sok Teng. Tammy Tan Zeng Li. Tan Guang Hua Desmond. Tan Mary Ann. Tan Wei Xiong James. Tan Yi Ying Nicolette. Tan Yong Chi Jeremy. Tio Ting Wei. Terence Tio Kai Jiang. To Yu Chong. To Yong Jing.
Tu Li Li. Toy Bryan. Tu Xin Ying. Wang Ming Wei. Wang Shi Hui. Yang En Wei Erwin. Yap Li Chu Wendy. Yap Ying Xuan. Abdul Falik Faris. Asia Favin Binti Abdul Aziz. Emily Bu Yi Li. Ang Ying Hui. Anita Rajendran. <laughs> Chong Kin Ming. <laughs> Chia Wai Fong. <laughs> Eng Chun Yin. Farah binti Hassan. Gulraj Singh Kira. Ho Shi Hui Anna. Iskandar bin Muhammad. Jordan Tan. <laughs> Kathy Ong Kai Chi. <laughs> Kao Chiu Ting Geraldine. Kwan Hui Xia. Lao Hui Lin. Li Wei Yi Janet. Lim Kok Kiong. Lo Li Yan. Lu Pei Lik. Lo Si Min Joycelyn. Mangal Gauri, daughter of Raju. <laughs> Melissa Ann Marie, daughter of Joseph. <laughs> Ma 
Misun V. Naidu. Muhammad Khairul Anwar bin Abdul Rahman. Muhammad Sufyan bin Samsuri. Ng Le Yen. Nur Sharizan Binti Ismail. Nurinda Binti Musani. Nurul Amilina Binti Ibrahim. Ong Eng Kiet. Pang Ka Leong Kelvin. Sai Vinothinil. Samuel Kwek Hong Tzu. Sia Cheng Siu Judy. Sonia Sahana, daughter of Pravit Dev. Sri Suryani Binti Saupan. Suraya Begum, daughter of M. Shaikh Aluddin. Tan Chuan Xiang Shan. Tan Guo Wei. Tan Song Wei Lewis. Tung Chong Yi Justin. To Lu Ting Jasmine. To Wan Ting. V Thurga. Vigneswari, daughter of S. Managaran. Wang Wan Chi. Yo Yen Fen Jessica. Zach Fong Tseng Yu. Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Arts Visual Communication with Business has earlier been conferred. Chiang Pin Yi. Siti Rafia Binti Omar. Yi Ching Hong Chi Siu Rachel Pereira Angeline Selvin (laughs) 
Sim Jia Ying. Amanda Xiao Wei Min. Aries Tan Li Jing. Felicia Tan Kai Chun. Irini Cyril Bagido. Lim Yi En Fion. Lo Zheng Yu. Nur Shafika Binti Kasturi. Nur Zarifa Binti Rijab. Nurul Nahira binti Muhammad Noor. <laughs> Ong Chen Sin Cheryl. <laughs> Ratna Nurul Haliza binti Abdullah. Wong Shu Ting <laughs> Yo Xiao Jiao <laughs> We shall now present awards to graduates who have achieved outstanding performance. Chancellor, may I present the following award winners for the degrees that have earlier been conferred. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Logistics and Supply Chain Management, winner of the Singapore Logistics Association Gold Award, Tan Ling Ling Margaret. Winner of the Singapore Logistics Association Silver Award, Ko Ni Chiang. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Business, winner of the Lee Fook Hong Gold Award, Lee Li Chun Eunice. Winner of the Lee Fook Hong Silver Award, Chua Gyok Wei. Winner of the Lee Fook Hong Bronze Award, Tan Li Ying Nicolette. The graduate representative for the class of 2022 is Mr. Muhammad Fidawas Seswani bin Supat, who graduated with Bachelor of Science Marketing with minor. Mr. Fidawas is the winner of the SUSS EMP Alumni Entrepreneurship Award. We will now watch a video recording of Mr. Fidawas' speech. A very good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on which session you're attending. Distinguished academics, staff, guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Fudawas, a graduate of the Bachelor of Science in Marketing with a minor in business from the School of Business. I'd like to start my speech by sharing a quick story. For my PSLE examinations, my parents never thought I'd enter secondary school. For my O-levels, my teachers never thought I'd enter poly. And for my diplomas, 
My friends never thought I'd ever get a degree. And now as I stand here for my graduation, I feel like asking, Prof, are you sh- sure I'm supposed to be here? I know this may sound a little weird, but I didn't expect to join SUSS until about a month before my intake. I had applied to many local universities and was rejected for three years running. I've accepted that with my average GPA of 3.0, I would never enroll at a local university. After speaking to many peers in my cohort, like many of you, SUSS was my last choice. I had planned to skip my bachelor's, head to work and climb my way up. That was until SUSS responded and offered me an opportunity to further my studies at a university level, something that other universities were not willing to. But studying at SUSS wasn't a bed of roses. We had to learn fast and we had to learn hard. Three hour seminars spread across just six weeks to learn an entire subject was not easy at all. On top of classes, many of us had to find a job to support ourselves through school. And like many I've met through my four years, I don't come from a well-to-do family. So I had to juggle many things. From classes, assignments, exams and work to my entrepreneurial nature meant that my past four years were constantly filled with challenges. But I'd say the biggest challenge for me was the pandemic. I was dealing with personal issues and being forced to stay home and transition to online learning just made it worse. To the point that I considered dropping out quite a few times. I would say I wouldn't be here if not for my amazing group of friends, tutors, lecturers and many others who encouraged and motivated me to be resilient and to take everything one step at a time. Looking back, SOS has provided us with lots of learning opportunities and self-development. From the overseas experience, which helped us gain valuable insights and experiences in the globalized world, to the community engagement program, which taught us how to become more empathetic individuals. And of course, the people and time management skills we learned just by going through each semester. I'm sure all these challenges I share here today are not unique to me. Along my journey, I've met many other individuals that other universities have rejected, to which SUSS gave a lifeline to. I've met hardworking students who struggled not only to balance their studies, but also had to work and take care of their families. And most importantly, I've met groups of friends who continuously push each other to get over the semester no matter how much they were struggling. I believe everyone has had difficulties throughout their time here in SUSS, but now you're here graduating. We did it. At this juncture, I'd like to invite all graduates to please rise and face your loved ones who have been there for you through all your studies. Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to our parents, loved ones, and the university for making this day possible. Let's give them a warmest round of applause. Please be seated. To the class of 2022, congratulations once again on completing this remarkable journey. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Coming up next is a video performance by SUSS alumnus, Mr. Hyrule Anwar, with his redemption of the university song, Onwards and Beyond. We congratulate all graduates on the achievement of this significant milestone your graduation. Enjoy. We're on a journey Precious and daring Hopes that are kindled with the dreams that we know can come true. We're moving on to face brighter tomorrows. Passions that burn, our hearts on fire, goals to achieve.
I declare this convocation closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem.